Hi, my name is Mohammed, and I'm an applications engineer at Maxim Integrated. I've been working on a homemade smartwatch project, and today I'm going to be talking about how to put my microcontroller in deep sleep mode to save power. I'll be demoing the Max32630 and a simple program to put it in deep sleep and wake it back up with just the push of a button. Most microcontrollers have different power modes to provide users a trade-off between power consumed and functionality of the microcontroller. The Max32630 has four power modes, LP3, LP2, LP1, and LP0. LP3 is run mode, and that's the default state with everything powered up. LP0 is stop mode, and that's the lowest power state. In LP0, only the wake-up circuitry and the real-time clock are powered. LP0 is perfect for my application. I can keep the real-time clock circuit running while in deep sleep mode and literally shut off every other part of the microcontroller. It has a dedicated supply for the clock that typically consumes 500 nanoamps in LP0 mode. It can also recognize button presses so I can wake it up with a GPIO input, display the time, and then go back to sleep and maintain as much power savings as possible. For today's demo, I'll be using the Max32630 Featherboard by itself. I'll be using the onboard LED to display the different power modes that it's in, as well as the onboard push button to toggle in and out of deep sleep. I'll be applying a 3.7 volt input supply to the battery input, which is a typical rechargeable lithium ion battery voltage and I'll be monitoring the total current consumed using this digital multimeter. Let me quickly describe the demo code before showing it in action. One good tip is to include the embed-dev library instead of the regular embed or embed OS libraries. I used several functions from the embed-dev library, which includes the source files from Maxim Integrated that provide additional functions for demo applications. It made managing the low power modes in my code much easier. There are four low power functions in the purple box. The first one clears any previous wake up configurations. The second one clears any asserted wake up flags. The third one configures the GPIO connected to my switch as a wake up source. And the fourth one puts the microcontroller into LP0 stop mode. It's a pretty simple program. When the microcontroller powers up, it doesn't know if it woke up from deep sleep or if power was freshly applied. The first thing it does is check for the deep sleep wake up flag, and if it's actually coming out of deep sleep, it will flash the red LED three times before turning fully on and keeping the green LED on. When I push the button for it to go back into deep sleep, it'll blink the blue LED three times and then go into deep sleep. Next time I press the button, the same process will happen over again. Alright, so here I have a 3.7 volt input supply that's routed to my precise 6.5 digit ammeter, which is showing 70 microamps currently. If I apply this to the battery terminal and hold down the reset button, the part powers on in LP3 mode. You saw the green LED with no blinks beforehand and about 4.4 milliamps. I press the onboard button, you see the blue blinks and the part powers down all the way to six microamps, wow. Now if I press the button again, you'll see those red blinks showing it powered up from low power mode and returns back to about 4.6 milliamps. That's all there is to it. In under five minutes, I was able to show how to put the Max32630 microcontroller into deep sleep mode with the push of a button and then wake it up with the push of that same button. The next part in my smartwatch project is to put it all together and have the RTC running while in deep sleep. To see that in action, check out my next video, How to Set Up an Ultra Low Power Real-Time Clock 2. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.